Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and today we are going to continue Elden Ring. Last time we finally beat the Tree Sentinel. Yeah, that was pretty much all we did the last time. We beat the Tree Sentinel. That took embarrassingly long. I'm filming this the same day. Actually, I just changed the shirt because it's really hot in here. That's my face is all red. So I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. And um, let's go. I think we should just um, go ahead and um, travel to the Stormhill Shack. It's been a while since we've been here. My plan for today is to go through this area and explore a little bit because I think I have missed a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, I will do most of that off camera because otherwise this episode is going to be really really long. But if I find something interesting I will definitely show that to you guys. If not I'm just gonna explore this area and move forward. Oh, pick up item. Golden seed. Was that left by Rodrika? Maybe she left that when she um when she went to the round table hall. Oh, that's nice. I really should use that. Cool. Um, yeah. Let's just um equip that straight away. Or I mean, let's use that. Because otherwise I'm going to forget. We actually have surprising amount of healing items already. Uh, add shards to flask. Yes. What? Use two golden seeds to increase your number of number of flask uses. Ah, so you need two. Yeah, maybe I should read the text sometime. <laughs> okay, so we need another one. All right. Okay, I was getting too excited. I was like, okay, we are going to get six flasks. That's cool. But never mind. I'm just gonna go um, and explore this area like I told you guys. And I will, um, I will come back to you if I find something interesting. Ooh, smithing stone. Cool. Who is that? Can we talk to him? What? Why do I feel like I'm supposed to do something? Hang on. How did we do the gestures again? The ring? Also, um, in the last episode, I forgot to mention that I do have a red status effect that's underneath my stamina bar. I don't know what that is. I will have to check out and see when I actually got it because I don't remember it being there for long and I don't know what it means. Okay, I don't think this gesture is doing anything so I'm just gonna leave him here. Oh, there are other bodies here as well. What happened here? Because it, it almost looks like there were like four kings sitting in here and then something exploded right here. I have no idea what's going on in here. Is this a shrine of some sort? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, uh, we have some wolves. Oh. Why is it so hard to hit them? On a horseback? Ah. Oh, good. They actually didn't see me. Um, should I actually kill that mama wolf? I think I should. Oh. All right. I'm here. Next. All right. I'm actually 
feeling like I'm getting a little bit better at the um, uh, mounted combat, which isn't a surprise really, since I uh, spent a lot of time riding Torrent in that tree sentinel fight. So it would be weird if I had no idea what I was doing now. Hmm, is there something on top of that ruin right there? I have no idea, but we have a ton of trolls. Good to know. Uh, I don't think this is a good idea. All right. Hmm, turtle neck meat. Um, that's the slug thing that we have seen before, and I don't want to fuck with that. No, thank you. Last time, uh, I learned my lesson, boy. I really did. Um, okay, let's go to the other side, because I think there is some stuff in here. At least we get some crafting items. I mean, material materials. Let's just sneak. Go sneaky sneaky, because I don't want to aggro that guy over there. I don't even know what to do with that. I do want to fight those trolls, though. Ooh, there's something over there. Oh my god, there are so many of them. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. Can I acro them? You know, one by one? What do you guys think? Because I don't want to fight all of them at the same time, because I know that that will be a freaking disaster. But honestly, I do feel like I, I do want to fight them, so I'm just gonna wait until one of them turns around. Let's start with this one, shall we? Okay, let's lure him away from that area. Is he following us? Oh, he is. Kind of. Okay. Ooh. Okay, what next? Ooh, wrong button. I was actually supposed to roll and not jump. Alright. Do something. Okay, he's pulling out the sword. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna let him make his first move. Wow. Okay, don't go behind, um, you know, between his legs. That's not a good idea. Okay, let's try this again. We could also try and fight him with Torrent. Yeah, let's, let's actually try that. Okay, uh, let's try this again. I'm interested. Come here. All right, big boy. Oh my god. Don't join us. I don't want you here. What? Are they actually fighting? I don't think they are. Oh shit, this didn't go well. Ooh, wow. Uh, okay, no. That's not good. This is not good.
Ah, uh, no, this is actually way harder. Harder like this. Never mind. Okay, just, uh... Maybe heal. Get off. Oh my god. No, they're all... Ah! All coming at me at once. Jesus. This is not what I planned. Ah! Okay. Um, I think I have to do something about that. Can I... Go and hide somewhere because... I think... I need to reset this... Um situation right here is he still following me stupid ah he's still waiting for me never mind so i think what i'm going to do i'm gonna go back here and come back and try this again hmm okay let's actually go here first Graveyard. We have some graves. Um. Runes. Are these the graves of the man whose uh, bodies we just found earlier? What happened? I want to pick up some items. How can I do this? Oh, nice. Golden rune. We get some runes. Ah, I think those worm guys actually shot me. Right, okay. Um. Alright. Ooh, that looked to be really good. Um. Okay, how do you fight these? Like that, I think. Ruin fragment. Cool. Okay, so... Oh, God, what? Ah, the nature is dangerous, dude. Oh, God. Jesus. He didn't like me one bit. Oh, you don't like me either. What are you... Oh, what? <laughs> what the... F what is this game, dude? Who invented that? That's... <laughs> oh my god, that was funny. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. What next? Oh. So they pretty much commit suicide. Oh, get out of the way. Why did I do that? Why? My brain was like, yes, good idea. I just saw one. Just basically blew himself. Oh my god, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Um, I saw one exploding. Let's put it that way. Um, I'm not gonna say what I was <laughs> what I was going to say at first. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> oh Jesus, broken English. That's the best English right there. Okay, what do we have in here? Wah. Chaos. Chaos is what it, what we have in here. Ooh. Oh! There is a shack! Oh! There is an enemy! Right! Okay, I'm gonna dismount. Aristocrat garb. What is that? Oh, wrong button. No, still wrong button. <laughs> High quality garb adorned with fine golden embroidery. Travel attire worn by nobles in the capital, terribly faded and tattered. Abandoning their birthplace after the shattering, these undead wanderers are the pitiful products of unending life. Oh, so they were in the capital. Hmm. Okay, so what do we have in- We have a craze. Craze spotted. Let's go. And an NPC! Great! Let's go! Race. Let's touch it. 
I love how we are touching the race. Because Chosen and Dead and Ashen Ones and, you know, all the other guys in the series have great success when they have touched different things. If you know what I mean. Finally, it's safe to touch something in these games. All right, who are you? War Master Shack. I've seen you before. Name's Bernal. Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Ooh. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? Oh, well, um, I kind of want to say that my faith holds firm, but I'm not really Honest sure. To a fault, I see. Such thoughts won't behoove you as a tarnished, but there's nothing wrong with that. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good tarnished like you. Oh, we get some weapon art stuff. That's cool. My headphones. They press against my ears and my earrings stick through my skull. And it really hurts. So I'm taking these off. Good. At least I don't feel pain. Okay, so we get As of War stamp or upward cut. Usable on swords, axes, and hammers. Small and medium swords, except... Oh, accepted. All right. Bronze affinities and skill to an armament. Yeah, I kind of got it. Uh, stamp, raise armament, and step into a low stance that prevents recoil from most enemy attacks. Follow up with a strong attack from a upward strike. Usable on sword, axes, and hammers. Okay. All right, so that's a heavy affinity. Uh, what's this? Kick. Push an enemy back with a high kick. Effective against enemies who are guarding and can break foe stance. Sometimes a simple tool is the most effective. Honestly, is this, if this is a proper kick, I will probably use this. Usable on all melee armaments because kicking in Souls games... God, when I'm trying to do that, doesn't work. When I don't try to do that... You know the drill. You, you know when you're trying to fight an enemy and you're like just pa like panicking and pressing all the buttons and suddenly when you're trying to attack you just kick instead. That's funny. Okay, then we have As of War Endure. Assume an anchor stance to praise for incoming attacks, briefly boosting poise. Damage taking while using the skill is reduced. Okay. Warcry. Give a Warcry to rally the spirit and increase attack power. While active, strong attacks chance... Oh no, strong attacks change to charging attacks. Usable on melee armaments, daggers, thrusting swords, and whips accepted. Oh, then we have spinning slash. Skill favored by dexterous warriors. That's me. Flash foes as your body spins. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Usable on swords, axes, and da 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 da. I think I already had it. Already have it. Impaling Thrust, skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields, build power and then lunge forward for strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Usable on armaments capable of thrusting. Okay, so this, uh, we can't use this. Then we have Quick Step, skill prized by the crafty and fleet of foot. Perform a Quick Step man maneuver that allows for circling around locked on targets. Then we have Stormblade. That looks cool. Lost skill of Storm Whale. Surround armament with searing storm winds that can be fired forward, can be fired in rapid succession. Usable on swords. Colossal weapons and twin plates accepted. Of course. Parry. Use this skill in time with a foe's melee attack to deflect it and break that foe's stance. Are you meaning that we couldn't even parry before? Oh, that's why it didn't work. I just... Uh, okay. Well, my timing was off as well, but... Alright. 
Uh, so we actually need the skill to parry. Like, this would be so good for... I need this. I need this. I, I need to get this. And then I need a better... Better shield for parrying. Okay, this is cool. Oh, it's actually usable on daggers, curved swords, thrusting swords, fist, claw, and small and medium shield. So basically I could actually um, parry with a dagger as well. No skill. This armament has no skill. If the armament in the other hand has a skill, that skill will be used instead. Okay, um, right. Uh, I don't have any money, uh, but I think I would really love to get a kick, but I feel like the parry is also kind of important. That's pretty cool. Do you have anything, anything great to say? of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Okay. Not floating your boat, eh? Well, there's no rush. Knowledge of the arts can wait another day. So basically, if I get a parry, I could actually Not parry with this, boat. but I'm wondering whether I'm supposed to be, you know, two-handing it to be able to parry. Oh shit, sorry, I wasn't supposed to. Sorry, sir. Sorry, I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to break your, break your stuff. I'm sorry. Um, let's use a couple of these, because I can't really tell how many runes you get um, from each of these. Okay, maybe I'm going to get two skills. Let's use one more. Uh, because I think some of them were like 600 each. There you are. Okay. So I think the parry would be kind of important, so I'm going to get that. I'm going to use some more runes, and I'm going to get the kick as well. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet, but I feel like those are going to be... You know... I think I will use them later, so I'm going to get that. Okay, I'm going to try the parry. Parry. Can I... Oh! wrong weapon. I feel like uh, I really want to parry with the left hand weapon, but oh, what was that? Ooh, so that's the parry. We do get the um, light attack, strong attack, Oh yeah, I, I should use this more and actually charge that up and then we have the parry and this oh, but I don't have the weapon art anymore. Should I try the parry? I'm actually gonna try it. I'm gonna try that because that's really cool because then I wouldn't need a shield to parry. Uh, what has, was his name? I already forgot. But I do need to remember to come back to him at some point. So, um, I'm gonna actually mark this place because I want to remember his whereabouts. Cool. Ooh, yeah. So, let's find someone who we can parry. That's, uh, I would prefer someone who is not a stone troll. If that would be possible, I would um, I would be uh, very happy and appreciate that. Uh, because I'm not gonna parry you. Or actually, I don't even know if you can parry them. Probably not. Ah, there is a... 
There's a, um, some sort of a camp over there. Okay, good to know. Ah, uh, can I actually... Climb on top of this one, or can I go inside? Because I think it's possible, right? Oh, I'm too freaking slow. What's up with those statues? Those ones. We've seen them in a couple of places, and I... I am interested, because what do... Are, are, is this a... What? You can actually examine these. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Uh, returning to the roots? Um, do you mean there are dead people there? Oh, I really should go back and actually look at the other statues. Maybe I missed something. Okay, good to know. But first... What is that? Chewbacca? In Elden Ring? Making a cameo? Maybe? Alright, so I am... Going to climb this bad boy. Nice, it looks beautiful. So I think we should go... That's somewhere where we should go. At some point. Do you really... No, there are no items in here. Damn. I thought that I would find something in... Can you see that? That pot over there? I know I can't zoom in because I don't have any binoculars or anything, but look at that. That's the pot boy, I think. We should go down there. Hang on. Oh, wait. Hang on. Are we going to die if I do this? No. Okay. Whoa, my Jesus. Maybe I'm a little bit too optimistic sometimes. So right. We're going in. Can you hear me? I can. Me. I'm stuck. Ooh. Hello? Hello? Anyone? I'm here. Talk. Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander. Alexander. Known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Yes. My thanks. A thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. Uh, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. All right. But you're all, I say. Uh, okay. So, um... Should we... Two hand this. Don't stop now, friend. I'm gonna just keep clobbering Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Okay. Whatever you say. Oh yes. Oh, we got a Chester. Okay, I'm gonna look at that a little bit later. Ah. Well played, good lady. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, I'd like you to have this. What did I get? Exalted flesh. Once again, the pleasure is mine. I am the warrior jar known as Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander. I journey to the east. 
where I intend to further my education in the ways of war. And beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot blighted Kaelid Wilds. Kaelid Wilds. And on their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> Okay. I'm heading eastward East. to Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot blighted Kaelid Wilds. I've heard there's to be a. Ah, okay. So he's going east. Cool. So we met Alexander. Cool. Uh, let's look at the Chester we just uh, we just got. Maybe it was this one. Was it? I think it was. Jump for. Joy, no, I I don't think it was it. Or was it? Was it really? I think it was. Alright then. Okay, so Alexander, he's going to go east. Which would be this way. Oh we are right here. And there's the craze over there. Right, so now I know where we are. Good, 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 good. Okay. But I don't think I will have a... Uh, okay, the grace is kind of far away. And I don't think I can jump there. Even with torrent. I think that's going to be certain death. I don't want to try that. I probably should. Okay. But... Okay. So, that's a scarab. I th Oh god. I didn't see that. Okay, so I'm going to go through this area and explore this. I love how I decide to do one thing and then suddenly I, I do something completely different. Like this this is the stuff that happens only with the open world games. You find something and then you just go for it. Uh but I think that's better than, you know, just running back and forth um, between different areas. It's also kind of funny when you've been playing this for some time and um, you kind of start to piece things together. For example, the map, you kind of have a general, general idea of where everything is. And that's kind of neat. Well, I didn't need you anyway, but it's good to know that you are here if I need you. I do have a feeling that I can actually jump down there, but... I really want to give those trolls a go. Because I feel like if I jump uh, down there, what's going to happen is that I'm going to forget about this area. And... Um, I will just proceed across that bridge. So I think that we should just uh, give this a go. Okay. I just realized that I do have those lone wolves ashes. But I don't think I can actually use those. Oh. Ah, uh, now I only need to remember that I don't have my weapon arts. I only have to parry. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I thought I dodged that. I was too slow. Oh god, that shockwave. <gasps> oh god, I'm so stuck. Heal. Okay. 
Okay, jumping attack. Okay, what now? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, heal. Oh! Oh shit! Get away from that. This is not good. All right. Cool. Ooh. Oh, I got two flasks back. That's good. That's really good. That's really, really good. Ooh. All right. Oh, that's a new one. Arteria leaf. Hmm. Where are we? Ah, we are here. I actually thought that we were here. Okay. Maybe I'm not going to drop down there. What is that? Something was glowing. Okay. Uh, now I know that I've been through this area. Let's go back. Okay, let's go. Let's leave this place. I don't think there was anything worth value in there. No, I don't think so. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I think, is that we are going to head down to this area. Where we have been before. Because here is the closest race. Okay, let's... Uh, let's rest. Okay, so this is where we are. And this is the road we have to clear out. I think. So, uh, we could also go this way but i feel like it's going to be the best if i went this way instead okay um i'm gonna visit that guy a little bit later so let's get torrent and move forward actually i don't think it's very smart to Oh, we can actually go this way as well. Cool. What's in here? Um, why do I have a feeling that this might be a boss? I mean, this is an empty area. And I don't know why I feel like... I feel like something is going to attack me. For some reason. Or maybe not. Uh, hi guys. Uh, what do you do? Hello? Oh, those are undead. Uh, what are you guarding? Oh. I was sure that he is not going to do anything for a second. Because he didn't react to me at all. Okay. Uh, let's do something. 
Ooh, ah. Uh, other than dying. Okay. Ah! Well, at least you decided to wait for your own turn, but fuck you anyway. Next. All right. Ooh, why haven't I used that before? That's that's cool. Jumping attack. Oh. Okay, you actually have to hit them <laughs> for it to work. Oh, foot soldier gauntlets. And what's here? Golden rune. Nice. Who is screaming? Oh, maybe that guy is. Okay. Um. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to that road and explore that and come here a little bit later because I feel like that's gonna be a smart thing to do now. Did I actually miss that? What's that? What? Who is that? Hallowed resting place is violated. To refuse the earth tree is called to return to live with the death. Oh, so was the statue actually pointing this way? Open. So this is a catacomb, isn't it? Death touch catacombs. Um, change of plans, boys. We are going in. We are going in. Um, do we have any items that we should craft before going in? Oh, we got this actually. No, actually, what what did we get from the from Alexander? He actually gave us something. Uh, maybe we should go into our inventory, I think. Oh, this. Okay, exalted flesh. A lump of animal flesh pickled in medici uh, medicinal solution mixed with fiery spices. Craftable item. Temporarily boost physical attack. Considered a delicacy in the Badlands, this invigorating repast was for the exclusive benefit of those who they deem heroes. Is that repast or repast or something else? Okay, cool. So, physical attack boost. Nice. Okay, uh, should I equip my words perhaps? Ah! What's this? Root resin. Okay, I see. So. We do have a door again that we need to unlock to go and fight a boss, I think. I don't know why I'm touching this, because I'm literally playing offline, but... This- oh no. Oh no. Skeletons and catacombs? Why? Oh wow. I was trying to parry him for some fucking reason. Actually, let's try that. Okay. Oh no. That didn't go well. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Parrying. Oh, it didn't quite work. Alright. Alright. Okay. Uh, oh no. What's him resurrect? Oh Jesus, this is terrible. Oh God. Oh no, why? Dude, why? Wow. Okay. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. No. 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 Nope. 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 Absolutely fucking not. What the fuck? Wow. Okay. How do you fight those? I think the answer is, you don't. Uh, 
Okay, let's just uh, chill out a little bit. Okay, do you guys like fire? Do you have to kill them once or twice or three times? Or do they actually come back to life indefinitely? Let's try this. Alright, so you come to life once. And twice, okay. Never mind. Uh, good to know. Okay, uh, do I need to do something so uh, to stop you from doing that necromancy shit? What do I have to do? Do I need to find a weapon? Do I need to find someone? Um, some sort of a... what is that? Well, a necromancer, I guess. Mm. And kill that. That necromancer, I mean. And maybe then I will be able to... Oh god, kill those guys. Or not. Oh fuck. Take it. Take it. Oh my god. Pull. Pull. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. I'm so fucking out. Ah! See ya. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dude, what? Yeah, I know. I know. I couldn't run for some reason. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, that wasn't an item. Oh shit. I was tricked. Fuck. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out. Get out. Okay. I'm gonna hide here. Ugh. Into the boss room. That's what they say. Hide. Okay, what the fuck is this? Black knife. Assassin. Oh, this is not gonna be good. Isn't it? Okay, let's try this without the wolf. Why does he have... Why does he have less health? Ooh, ah, oh my god. That's a dex build gone wild, dude. Okay, I think I'm going to try this. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh, I can't even see him. Oh, yes. Ooh. Enemy failed. Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Honestly, I really would have wanted to fight him on my own. Damn, why did I use the wolves? He looked cool though. What did we get? Assassin's Crimson Dagger. An assassin's dagger misshapen and stained in crimson. Critical hits restore HP. This charm is modeled after the darkly gleaming blades used in the knights uh used in the Knight of Black Knives. Those which gave the demigods their first taste of death I'm gonna I'm gonna equip that that was cool wow oh uh, we get a chest okay so we do get these catacomb looking things and I think we're going to have multiple of these during the game because this is the second one treasure chest Death root. What's that? Death root, a source that gives rise to those who live in death. The beast clergyman found in bestial sanctum in the distant east collects and, um, collects and devours these roots. On the night of the dire blood, the stolen rune of death enabled the first death of the demigod. 
Later, the rune of death spread across the lands between through the underground roots of the great tree, sprouting in the form of death root. Okay, so this is kind of like an infection, is it? Wow, okay. Uh, let's return to the entrance. I think that the next time... Uh, when we actually encounter bosses like this, I really want to fight them without the wolves. Because I feel like... Um, winning these type of boss fights, um, it's not as satisfying as when you do it by yourself, so... Mm, I'm trying to keep that in mind. So I think we should level up. I'm actually going to level up Faith. Uh, because I want to be able to use those miracles. Okay. I'm also thinking about uh, taking the ability to parry off of my sword because um, right now I feel like I won't be using that. I will do that at some point. But first... We are going to take a look at this. I hope you guys don't mind me, you know taking my sweet time while playing this, because I know that there are a lot of people who probably, um... Oh, shit! Progress through this game a little bit faster than I do, or maybe a lot faster even. What the... Oh my god. I did not see that coming. Oh. Hello? Let's just pretend that I'm not here, and... I'm going to scratch your back. Oh, I got some health back. That's cool. I like this. Cool feature. All right. Uh, so what I was trying to say was that I hope you don't mind because I know many people go through this game a lot faster. Uh, maybe they do a little bit less exploring or maybe they cut some things out. Um... I don't know, I just want to capture the whole experience and I know it's going to take me a really long time until I will be able to finish this game, so um, let me know what you think. I know some of you are probably um, not big fans of longer episodes, but I don't know, I, I feel like this is just the way that I want to do this and I hope you... You guys enjoy it. So, uh, let's get rid of this guy. Okay, because I don't want to kill that guy right in front of that gate. Because I feel like if I do, that will alarm everybody in here. Let's go and circle behind them. Because I really want to know how many soldiers there are. Um, I'm wondering if that thing right there in front of us is the... this one. It might be. The shack with the, um, guy who sells us the Asses of War. Oh, ah, I didn't see them. How did I miss them? Oh, aha. Uh -huh. I don't know what you are, but I hate you. Oh my god. Stop. Okay, um, no. Ah, fuck. Okay. Uh, who is next? One of you guys. Uh, stop throwing shit at me. I hate that. Okay, next. Whoa. Dead. Alright. Uh... He's like, what's happening? Nothing. 
Uh, the wind is howling, but uh, other, other than that, nothing, nothing worth mentioning. Just uh, go back, please. Okay. All right. I think I should go this way instead. Because there are some vegetation right here. And this allows me to sneak behind them, perhaps. I really want to get rid of that sentinel because I know he's going to give me a hard time. Oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's a skull. Never mind. I thought that was something else. Huh. Okay, golden rune. Right. Oh. Wah. I'm stuck. Okay, I admit I made too much noise. I get it. Okay, more flesh. Okay, I think I alerted everyone, so let's just uh, kill these guys real quick. Oh my god, another dog. Stop. Right there. Do not. Do not. Okay, next one. Who is next? Another dog. Really? Oh, and a sentinel. Please don't. This is what I'm going to do. I killed your dog. Killed your dog. I... Oh! He doesn't have a spear. Noted. Oh. Okay. What do you got? Then what? Oh, uh... I'm too greedy. Oh, that reach. Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, range, whatever. And my lack of skills. Great. Those guys are tough. Oh, ah, I did not see you. All right. Now uh, let's get those beautiful butterflies. Oh, what's in here? Oh, aha. Parkour. Oh, my. I, I, I may just pick up the item. I don't have to hit it. Alright, what's in here? Uh, nothing worth mentioning in there, but we do have a chest. Hello. Beast crest. Feather shield. Ooh, we got a shield. Probably a lot better than the shield that we already have. It is. I mean, let's equip this, because it does uh, guarded damage negation. Physical attack, 100. That's cool. Thank you. I'm gonna need that. So where are we? Oh, we got one of these. Cool. I was like, what's that? 
sound. Okay, is that the shack that I think it is? I think that is. It is! Okay, so we have come... Oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. We've come a few... Uh, a full circle. Cool. Okay, so I think I'm going to follow... Um... Ooh, ah. Oh my god. I was going to say that I think I'm going to follow this road. <gasps> oh, I couldn't see that. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so what I was trying to say be before I was ambushed was that I'm going to follow this road and see what's... Um, what I will find... On my way, we do have another path right here that we haven't taken before, but I think I'm going to move forward instead. So what do we have in here? We have a Northern soldier number one and number two. Patrolling around, guarding nothing. As they should. Uh, no. That's not what you were supposed to be doing. Oh. Cool. Okay, uh, let's heal. Next one. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Okay, so I'm going to wait for him to turn his back to me. And if I was smart, I should have waited and not healed, because... If I can backstab him successfully, which I can't, apparently... Um, I could have healed. Uh... Alright. Let's go, big boy. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Got a little bit cocky there. Oh my god, I am dead. I'm gonna try this anyway. Okay. Ooh. Nice! All right, worth taking the risk. Let's move forward. We got an item. What's this? Fire arrow. Cool. Did they actually kill this poor woman? Or a man? Why are they all wearing crowns? That's something that I want to know. Okay. Hmm, let's take a look at this. Because I think we will see a little bit better. Alright, so we have gone through all of this today. The only area that we haven't really uh, fully explored is this one right here with the trolls. And there is that statue over there. I really want to know what's, what's the... Deal with the statue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh. So we are back at the Stormhill Shack. I think that we are going to. Go and rest at this grace right here, and then we are going to fight those trolls again. And what I'm going to do now is actually, I'm going to take that parry off because I really, I'm just not going to use it. 
Uh, how can I un unequip it? Undo enhancement. Okay. Let's do that another time. But now. Uh, let's go and fight the trolls again. Because I want to know what's the deal with the statue. And that's the thing that I wanted to do in this episode. And I totally got sidetracked again. So let's go and see. Because then... Um, because I think if we do that... Um, we could move forward in the next episode. Can I uh, somehow circle behind them? Because if I can... That would be nice. I would highly appreciate that. Actually... I'm a fucking idiot. Why didn't I use this grace right here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, and I don't know if I if I will ever find out. Okay. Right. Now when we have our trusty spinning sla uh, slash back. I th oh, sorry. I think we can get those. I don't. Oh my god, like, how can we... Dude, how can I kill those trolls? Because I think there is something that I need to do with the statue, and it's not possible if the trolls are there. Maybe if I sneak on top of that cliff over there, can I do a plunging attack? Uh, this kind of feels like I'm probably not supposed to be here just yet, but... Ah, don't... Get off. Like, just... Oh, God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I am not here. Let's try this. This is suicide, I know that. Ah, uh, okay. Failed. Actually, I just realized something. I'm gonna try this. What if I don't attack them? Will they just leave me alone? If I'm just coming in peace? What do you guys think? Okay, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. Worth a try. Ah. Uh, I can see your insides. I don't know if this is even smart because I don't even know what I'm... Ooh. What I'm going to do with the statue because um, it's glowing inside, but I don't think you can break it. Um... By hitting it. And I also don't think I can interact with it, because I tried, and, um, nothing happened. So I don't know, I'm just gonna kill this guy, hopefully. And if I live to tell the tale... Oh, that wasn't planned. Uh, at all. I can't even see. So what I was going to say, that if I live, I will try and do something about that. Ooh, uh, living through this looks unlikely. Okay. Ordered. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna leave a mark right here, just in case I get totally destroyed. Because I do want to remember to come back a little bit later. Okay, uh, it's night time. Can I... Can I, uh... 
Can I do something? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, I don't think... ...that there is, um... ...anything I can do about this now. Yeah. I don't think so. So... What I'm going to do... ...right now is... ...I am... ...going to go to the Stormhill Shack. I'm going to level up, and after that... ...I am... ...going to wrap this episode up. Because it's getting quite lengthy. Mm, we haven't talked to Melina in a while. I wonder what she's doing. Oh, I can't actually level up. Uh, let's use some... Um, uh, some of our runes. I didn't look how many I needed. Let's do three. Alright. So, what should I level up? I think I should go with Vigor. For a change. Dexterity is 21. I think that's pretty good. Hmm, or Endurance. I think I'm going to go with Vigor this time. Okay, let's take a look at the... Um, Table of Lost Grace, because I want to go there and see if anything has changed. Wait a second. Hey, where did... Rodrigo go. Oh, she's here. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh, I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. Mm. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish. But if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Roderica, spirit turner. Or spirit tuner. Spirit tuning. With the spirit tuning menu, you can spend runes and crave low worth to strengthen the spirits you summon from ashes. To strengthen named spirits, you'll need to you'll need ghost low worth. What? Ghost low worth? Okay. Ah. All right, so I can actually strengthen them. That's cool. I need 600 runes, and I only have one Crave Cloverth. Okay, so we can actually strengthen those. Cool. Do you have anything well, new to say? Where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms, then. Hmm. Can I actually strengthen these? What? Do I have four smithing stones? Since when? I thought that I only had... I only had one. I can actually strengthen... Oh, yes. Yes, please. Yeah, Skimidar. Thank you. About Roderica. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. No problem. Cool. So let's see that uh, we actually... No, we did... Um, we did equip the wrong weapon. Give me the R plus one and plus two. Okay. Cool. Right. So I think... That we are going to see if any one of these have any any other NPCs have anything new to say. Uh, these guys right here didn't. But 
Has anything happened here? I don't think so. All right. So let's go and see if anything changed in here while we were gone. We've spoken long enough. Okay. Never mind. And he doesn't have anything new to say. Okay. So I think that we are going to wrap this episode up. So we went through Storm Hill, and then we actually went to Warmaster's shack that we found accidentally. And now we have a place to buy some Asses of War, so that's really cool. And we went all the way to Saints Bridge, which we have crossed before, but I don't think we are going to go to that side of the map anytime soon. And then... We went to Death Touched Catacombs and we met a boss whose name I don't remember. Um, I kind of feel like I shouldn't be using those wolves as much because it really trivializes those fights because I feel like I wasn't even fighting him. It was the wolves who actually fought him. So I kind of feel bad about that because I do want to experience the bosses and he, he looked to be really cool. So I, I feel like I kind of messed up my chances to um, really have a good fight with him, but I'm just going to keep that in mind for later. So I think the next time we are going to start from the Stormhill Shack and we are going to continue and infiltrate this castle right here because I think it's about time that we are actually going to go in there. I feel like I've been exploring a lot of these areas and everything and it's been really fun, but I do want to continue the main story. Everybody is talking about the Great Rune that's at the moment is kept by the Godric of Crafted, who is going to probably be the next boss or one of the main bosses in the game. So I really want to mention this, but I hope you guys don't mind that I'm taking my time progressing through this game. And this is the first time that I've been able to play a new From Software game right after its release. I haven't had this experience before and that's why I really want to go through everything and just take everything in and not skip anything just because I feel like I need to progress and pump out more videos and progress a little bit faster. And I hope you don't mind the lengthy episodes because these games usually take a long time to finish. Uh, they have a lot of detail into them, they have a deep lore that's hidden behind item descriptions and the world around you and there are also so many NPC guest lines, so many secrets and new areas and skills and everything and I really want to explore and just try everything out you know because this is the one and only time that I will be able to play Elden Ring the very first time and I really want to take you guys to the journey with me and hopefully there is something in my playthroughs that you can actually relate with. So yeah, I'm not the best at these games. I'm definitely not a pro Dark Souls player and I don't always find the right words. I do have this beautiful Finnish accent that's shining through my English and I, I'm i probably sounding a little bit ridiculous sometimes, but I'm trying my best and I'm having fun. So I hope you guys are having fun too. And I do want to say that I'm very thankful to all of you who have watched my videos, whether you watch all of them or just some of them or whether you just skip through them, uh, whether you leave, leave likes or comment or maybe you don't. Um, I'm fine with all of that and I thank you all for being here because I don't take this for granted and I don't take you guys for granted. So now I think it's a good time to say Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode and I will see you next time. Bye guys.